I know. It's just I wasn't. Ex oh, segways. Oh my segways. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's something I miss about living in the South Loop. The Segway tours always come by. Oh my god, surface, surface. God, it's like a herd of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's okay, poker face. And broke off from the herd. I was waiting for a cheetah to jump out and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Block by Block, where we explore Chicago's neighborhoods. In this episode, my roommate and I are going to go back down to our old stomping grounds in the South Loop, where we lived for three years before we moved up north. We're also going to go to Printer's Row, which is very close by. The South Loop has a patchwork history, being one of the first settled areas of Chicago. At one time, it was one of the most prestigious sections of the city, housing some of the richest people in Chicago. At other times, it's also been a bit sketchy. Nowadays, it's very gentrified and mostly has white-collar workers living in condos and college students living in dorms. The South Loop is obviously the section of downtown just south of the main section, which is called the Loop. It's between downtown and the near south side community area. Some say it's part of that area, some say it's part of downtown. Its boundaries are, roughly, Congress on the north, 18th Street to the south, and the lake to the east, and the river on the west. To be honest, I couldn't find any definitive boundary for the South Loop slash Printer's Row neighborhood, so I'm sort of going off instinct and a combination of different sources. Here are a couple things we're going to check out today. There are a myriad of bookstores, small businesses, and restaurants in the South Loop, uh, Flacco's Tacos is down there, that's my favorite restaurant. And Buddy Guys is also down there, that's a blues club that was started by the famous Buddy Guy. The South Loop is dominated by college campuses. Columbia College's main campus is there, and DePaul has a satellite campus there. Roosevelt and Robert Morris are also present in the area. There's also the University Center, which is a giant dorm building for many of the different universities down there. It's an entire city block long, just dorms and businesses. Building. Yeah. I kind of wanted to live in one of those little things. Bears. Oh, great. Damn. Must be a Bears game today. So this is Printer's Row, or part of it at least. On Dearborn. What else? Oh yeah, this is where the Printer's Row Book Festival is every summer. Printer's Row is a close-knit little neighborhood down there that's sort of part of the South Loop. They really blend into each other. It used to be part of the Levy District in the 18 and early 1900s. It had a lot of bordellos, gambling, bars, a lot of seedy people. It was kind of a very notorious part of town. And then after a while it got turned into mostly printing houses, and then those were later converted into trendy lofts and began a process of gentrification in the area. And then that clock tower right there is Dearborn Station. Dearborn Station is also in Printer's Row. That's a, a train station. It used to be a, a train station in the 1800s, and now it's just stores and commercial spaces. But it's very pretty. What does that say? Or is it not supposed to say anything? Is it just supposed to be, like, letters? Well, it's upside down and backwards. Some of them are right oh. side, some of them are backwards. That's too much for me. <laughs> what sorts of things did you like about living down here? Okay, well, the proximity to the Columbia campus was yes. maybe my favorite part. Oh yeah, I do kind of miss that. The park is really big. You can walk down to the lake and you can watch the fireworks on Navy Pier. Oh yeah, and they do. They have fireworks like every week. Yeah, it seems like the people who live in the South Loop who aren't students are, you know, working professionals and people like who are, you know, more wealthy wealthier than I. Yeah, that's that's a little true. And also, I mean, we have the park, which is really nice. The park's really big, mm -hmm. but it's not like the streets are like tree lined. Yeah. There's not a lot of vegetation. There's a little something. bit of that. I mean, I remember... There are a few sickly trees and bushes, yeah. but that's about it. I remember... Are like behind cages. Yeah. But wandering down kind of a little further south, um, like on Plymouth Court, there's a, it, it kind of looks like, you know, up in Lakeview where 
there are trees and nicer places, but it's really expensive. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's doing. Another thing down in the South Loop is the museum campus, and of course a lot of people who have been all around Chicago doing touristy things will know the museum campus. It has the Field Museum, which is a natural history and science, and then the Adler Planetarium and the Shedd Aquarium. And Soldier Field is also nearby where the Chicago Bears play and where they have a lot of concerts, I think. It's a very strange place. I kind of think it looks like the Colosseum if a spaceship landed on it. There's a lot more to do here that's like when we had guests come to stay with us, I feel like there was a lot to do because we could like go to a restaurant, walk around campus, go to the museums, stuff like that. Um, and we were close to transportation. But as far as going out to hang out at night kind of thing, you're better off further north where there's more residences, less condos and yeah, big buildings. For a fun time, if we wanted to go anywhere after like 9 o'clock, we just go to the Jewel. Oh yeah, we used to go midnight we shopping go all shop the time. And get Jewel. They would play the Ghostbusters theme. Oh yeah, they had good music in that Jewel. All right, your fast facts for the South Loop and Printer's Row. The average rental price for a studio is about $1,100 to $1,200. For a two bedroom, about $1,700 to $2,100. The safety rating is green, according to the Chicago Police Department website. Local transportation that'll get you there, the red line to Harrison will get you to the main part of the South Loop and also to Printer's Row. The red, green, and orange lines at Roosevelt will also get you there. There's a ridiculous number of buses that go down there, way too many for me to list, so you have to check out the Chicago Transit Authority website, just chicagotransitauthority.com. To sum it up, all the convenience and amenities of being downtown, but in a slightly calmer area. Here's this place. I always wanted to try this place, but it's always too expensive. Yeah, I, I always thought that I wanted to go there. 